This part of the Mississippi River Delta in Arkansas was once a vast hardwood forest, twice the size of Denmark. Settlers cut the trees and turned streams into ditches to drain the land for crops. These weren't stupid people, so they, they did their job well. They would find the low spots, get rid of anything that would slow water, trees, vegetation, any bends in the river, any pools in the river. They would stop the water, straighten it, ditch it, clear the land, and that sucker moves water. There's no question about it. Ditches drain soybean and cotton fields, but push a lot of sediment into nearby rivers, losing silt that once fed a vast forest. Only fragments of that forest remain, and restoring it starts with modifications to irrigation ditches, turning them into something more like natural streams. When you put curves back into a stream, you're changing the physics of a stream. So say on these Say on this bar here, this is a point bar, you'll create a natural eddy which will flow this way and the sediment will deposit on that berm. Ecologist Josh Duzan made a computer model of the 440 acres the Nature Conservancy purchased here and designed a new stream to run through it. We're adding riffles and pools. Pools are what you would see in an outside bend of the stream. Riffles you would see in the straight sections. So we're creating in-stream habitat for macroinvertebrates, which are small little critters like bugs and crayfish. The crooks put back in the stream are reinforced with coconut fiber logs placed at the bottom and live willow stakes along its edge. The stakes will sprout and stabilize the stream bank. The stream is designed to mimic a watercourse in a healthy lowland forest with a natural cycle of flooding and drying. When streams flood, they deposit silt that trees need to grow. Sensors on this piece of bottomland will monitor the rise and fall of the groundwater to see if the stream is working. This green ash sapling is the first of thousands of hardwood trees the Nature Conservancy will plant here. Maybe when my grandkids grow up, they can come here and look at what the forest used to look like. The Nature Conservancy has bought more than 15,000 acres of delta land and added most of it to the Cache River National Wildlife Refuge. Creating wildlife corridors between fragments of what was once a vast forest could mean that red wolves and panthers could one day live here again. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.